Hello, I'm Jade and one of the doctors from the psychiatry team. Can I please just check your name and date of birth? Um, it's, it's, um, Jane. Jane Sheraton and, um, it's the 3rd of May, uh, 68. Okay. And I've been told that you've come into hospital because one of your friends was worried about your mental health. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Could you tell me a bit about how you've been feeling? I just feel really, really sad. Just sad. Yeah. How long has that been going on for? Oh, a few weeks now. Is there anything in particular that's been going on recently? So I, I, um, I lost my job. I really, really love that job. Yeah, that sounds really, really difficult. Yeah, it was, it is. Yeah. It's really hard. And I guess, for, you know, that all sounds like there's a lot going on. I mean, have you been able to kind of do anything you enjoy? I, I, I don't do anything. Any, I, I, I don't enjoy anything. I, I don't do anything. I don't do anything anymore. I just, um, I, I just, just, just cry. I just can't stop crying. I just. Hmm. What kind of things would you have done before? I'd um, <clears throat> I'd um, see friends, mm -hmm. but I, I don't really. I don't. I don't have really friends now. I'd, um, I'd, 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 I'd go running, but I just don't, can't, just don't, just don't have, don't have any one, or just don't do anything. Okay. How have you been sleeping? <sighs> I just sleep really bad because I am... Um, just keep waking up, just waking up and just thinking about just how, how bad I am. I've just, I've let, I've let so many people down. I just, I can't sleep. I've just let lots of people down. Why is it that you feel you've been letting people die? I, I, I've lost my job. It must be my fault. I've, I've left, I let the team down and I've just really let my son down. Because I, 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 I have, I've got no more money now and I, I, I just really want to pay for him, you know, for, for university and I, I'm just a really bad mum because I just can't, I can't afford to now, I haven't got a job. It, just in terms of with the way that you've been feeling and everything that's been going on, have you been managing to look after yourself? I just can't be bothered. I don't see the point. Have you been eating? No. No, just some, um, just a bit of toast and a pie. No. Okay. Sometimes when people have been dealing with things like this, they might try drugs or alcohol as a way of coping. 
Is that something that you've tried? No. And have things ever felt so bad that you've thought of harming yourself or ending your life? Okay. Yes. Okay. I do. I'm really sorry, Doctor. No, I'm really no, sorry. No, I'm just... No, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know it's a really difficult thing to talk about. No, I'm about. just sorry to waste your time. I'm just not worth helping. There'll be other people. There's other people that you should be helping, not me. I'm just not worth it. Well, what is it that you've thought about doing? Well, I, I mean, I don't know if I'd actually do it, but I am... Um, I, 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 um, I, I bought... I've just been buying paracetamol. I just don't think things are going to get any better. I just, I'm just so sad. Had you made any plans to take those pills? Well, I um, I, 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 so I, I don't want to be here. But I, I um, I, I don't know if if I would. But I am. Um, I did feel so bad that I just thought I should maybe write a note for my son or... Yeah, I, I did think about checking my will. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know if I would do it, but I... Yeah, I, I did think. Is there anything that would stop you from doing something like that? No, I, I don't think so because I just don't think anything's going to get better. Have you had any thoughts about wanting to harm anyone else at, the, at any point? No, no. Have you ever been worried that other people might be able to hear or interfere with your thoughts at all? No, no. Or have you ever been worried that someone might be controlling your thoughts or what you do? No. No? Okay. And just another question. Sometimes people who have been feeling the way you do at the moment, they might have seen or heard kind of abnormal things they can't explain. Is that something you've experienced? No. 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 Okay. And then just a couple of questions. Um, do you, do you know where we are right now? Yeah. Yeah, would you be able to tell me? I'm just, well, the, the A&E that my friend brought me to. Yeah. And do you know roughly what time it is? Oh, it's about six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And can you remember who I am? Um, I've forgotten your name, but you're the, you're the doctor, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. Do you think it's possible that the way you've been feeling recently might be affecting your thinking? Um, I, I, I know I'm, I'm depressed, but no, I, I just, things won't get is there anything that you think we could do to help you that might help you get through this? I just don't think anyone can help. I don't think anyone can help. I don't. Well, thank you very much for speaking to me today. I know that must have been really difficult to talk about. I think it'd be best if I go speak with my team to see what we can do to help you. Would that be okay? Mm -hmm. Have you got any questions for me at the moment? No, thanks. No. no. Okay, well, thank you very much for speaking to me today. Today I assess Jane Sheraton, a 48-year-old lady presenting with low mood and suicidal ideation on a background of significant social stresses. For the last couple of weeks, she has been struggling with suicidal ideation and has been stockpiling paracetamol. She states that her friends and family would be better off without her.
On examination, she appeared sad and tearful with poor eye contact and evidence of psychomotor retardation. Jane's speech was slow and monotonous. She described her mood as low with evidence of anhedonia, poor concentration and early morning waking. Her affect was blunted. Jane described mood congruent cognitions of hopelessness, burdensomeness and guilt. Her thoughts were linear and there was no evidence of formal thought disorder. She denied any perceptual abnormalities. Jane was oriented to time, place and person. Jane demonstrated partial insight, but she does not believe that her cognitions of guilt or hopelessness could be related to a mental health disorder. In terms of risk, Jane reports ongoing thoughts of suicide with plans to take a paracetamol overdose. She is at risk of self-neglect due to struggling with self-care. She denied any thoughts or intent to harm others. If you enjoyed this video, check out the Geeky Medics collection of over 500 OSCE stations and put your OSCE skills to the test. You can practice with friends, create your own study group, or team up with another member of the Geeky Medics community with our OSCE Match feature. Sign up today to access our selection of free OSCE stations.